to where? Oh, do you want to go to New York with me in October? Yeah. We're planning a class. Yeah, we're planning a class in, in the Big Apple in October. Ooh. We're just waiting for um, the Mary Marriott Marquis to call us back oh. for the reservation of the place. Mm -hmm. In October, it'll be beautiful weather and um. It'll still be pretty there. It'll still be nice weather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe the city will be dressed up for uh, Halloween too. So I'm gonna go in with the magic bits, the pink magic bit, and begin to take off the design. And look at her stickers; they just stayed on so beautifully. Everything just really, really. Looks so nice. Yeah, so many compliments. She said like even men would compliment her name. Oh yeah, they did. Which just really surprised me. Oh, I'm coming in. Isn't it sad that the pet shop boys never got really, really famous in America? No, they didn't. They but in... Were, oh, but in England. Oh my gosh. Kings amongst men. Yeah, they were. I loved all those videos. Depeche Mode, too. So how much shorter do you think you want to go? Yeah, about half the time. Okay. I mean, by that, I think the city is fully opening up in October, no, in July, right? Uh, New York is fully opening up. Outside factors. Good job. I really want to go to Broadway. I've never seen a show on Broadway. All the times I've been to New York, I've never gone to Broadway. You never? No. Oh my god, it's such an I've seen shows here, but I mean, it's Broadway. You know what no, I mean? No, you gotta go on Broadway. I've seen shows. I've seen shows here, LA, Chicago, uh, Vegas. Uh, Vegas, and New York, and It's the magic, right? Yeah, so let's take him down. Unfortunately. Yeah, you guys know that Max does not want to take my nails down. Barbara's got to have the long stripper nails. Right? 10 XL. Just glue two of them together. <laughs> Let's give her a cute little natural shape. Look at that. What do you think? Hi from Michigan. A little bit shorter? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Man, Barbara, you just want you just want a, an overlay. <laughs> yeah. You're like, just cut my nail down all the way and just put a, a little coat of polish to the wick. Don't they have natural disasters out there, Barbara? In uh, North Carolina? Oh, sorry. I don't know if they have natural disasters. Like tornadoes and things like that? And the city city or like a suburb? City. City. Cause she's a city girl. <laughs> you need to have convenience.
Mm, Tucson's a very convenient city. But I would imagine like living in downtown Charlotte, you're gonna have a little law. Very sex in the city. Hi, good day, mate. This is the pink magic bit. You know what other city, or I heard is like growing a lot too, is um, Memphis. Yeah. A lot of people move into Memphis. Yeah, I have a conference, a special conference this year. Mm-hmm. That lives in Memphis, and uh, he had mentioned it on Huge, huge amount of people moving there. Mm -hmm. I think like Florida and Texas are number one and two, and then um, it's Tennessee. Or Arizona has a lot of people moving here, too. A lot of people from California. I don't know, maybe maybe they like the bad weather. <laughs> maybe it's the rain. But in all honesty though, Phoenix as horrible as the weather is in Phoenix, Phoenix is a very exciting city though. Phoenix is a very, very well planned out city, don't you think? Yeah, it's massive. And they have a really good how big the city is and they also have like a really good um, infrastructure system like they have a really good freeway freeways because yeah, yeah over. you get off one freeway and you get on another in and phoenix they're over and they're higher and the next one's even higher and oh my goodness if you don't know where you're going you're gonna get lost yeah. but to me they have the most confusing airport oh my gosh i, I agree used to travel a lot and i mean i went everywhere i've been to all almost all the states except for four. And the airport that was the most confusing is Phoenix. Isn't it? It is so confusing. Because all the terminals are not connected. No, it's just, it's like, okay, what's going on? So you're like, why why even have the terminals if, there, if there's no train between them either? I know. I think they are working on that though. Well, they need to. But it's been like that for years though. But now they're offering a direct flight to Hawaii. On Southwest. From a fee? Yes. Ooh, that's nice. So I'm gonna take the 100-100 fantastic file. We're gonna shape her up, get the perimeter nice and... It's supposed to be. No, that's the one I'm gonna jamming. When you're twerking, Barbara? Poor Barbara twerking, twerking and jamming to a smooth the van drums. Give her a cute little, little shape. Yeah. Cute little almond name. Like That's good. And these are practically her real. Oh, they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna drill them out inside as well too. Yeah. Because Barbara's like, I feel dirty. I thought, speaking of, I thought you were going to uh, have these long bundles put in, Barbara. You know, I, I was am. looking forward to it. I am. And you know me, I love me some long hair. I know. And I am, except for I couldn't get in to see the young lady that I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. and so. You gotta wait. I'm kind of glad I'm waiting because I'm trying to think of what I really want. Some braids. Some corn roll style and thin braids. Ooh, some box braids. Yeah, that's what I did last time. Like Janet Jackson and um, Poetic Justice. What about like a, like a 36 inch uh, Mongolian weave? <laughs> Silky straight. Oh no, I think I would look weird. Parted down the middle. I think I would look weird. Really? Oh, come on, you can't, you can't imagine anything like that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I think you can. Some fake eyelashes. <laughs> oh. 
My my natural ass is so curly. Every time I tried to put on papers, even when I had a professional put on, mm -hmm. my lashes went through them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you just need a good a good mascara then? Yeah, I do. I've been trying to find one that doesn't my mom was telling me that she likes a, a drugstore one, but I can't remember what it was. I think it was L'Oreal. Really? Yeah. You she's like, come? no, she says I really like it. Mm. Hmm. Let us know in the comments below what mascara you like. Yeah. Which one is that doesn't clunk? I don't know. It clunk. You know, my, my left eye, they separate real mm -hmm. mascara. My right eye, these lashes clunk. The same really? Mm -hmm. It's like I can't get them separated, you know? You can't get them to agree. No, they don't like it. Did you ever try that really famous mascara that was called Better Than You Know What? Oh, yeah. I, I got some of that. I used that. I got it free uh, from Sephora. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Speaking of Sephora, see they're in everything. Mm -hmm. I got a few from Sephora and I had just used it up and so then I bought some Fenty. I had just used up my better than Fenty. <laughs> Is it good? I liked it. Is it better than the act? Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It is a good name though, I, isn't it? I thought it was a great name. And and you know, like I, you know how you go and you buy and you buy it so much and they just give you a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, all the little gifts and, and super yeah. like sample sizes and, and things so, like that, right? And then when I was using it one day I heard it, I said, What? <laughs> I said, That's the name of this. <laughs> You're like, where has this been all my life? I know. Uh, I need a new vegan Um, what is that brand called? Kat Von D. Now that it's a vegan line, I think that might be pretty good because she. And it's also owned by the same company that owns Fenty. Kiwana likes Maybelline. Oh, I've heard really good things about that one too. Really? And if you want to be a little bougie, I heard Dior has really good uh, mascara too. The what is it called? Lash Show, I think it's called. So we're gonna go in with the Diamond Manny bit and begin to clean everything out. Hi. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Focus camera. Gonna go up and down the sidewalls, make sure everything is nice and clean. Oh, I've heard of that one as well. This is the Diamond Manny bit. And you can see it's starting to lift up that dry non-living tissue. Because Rob was like, I want it all gone. <laughs> I wish somebody would develop something for your pedicure. You know how much we don't. Oh, the acid treatment? Barb is like, I want to walk and bleed. I want my feet so smooth. <laughs> I want baby feet. There's a product called baby feet, but it doesn't work. Well, it works pretty good, but I can just imagine. Don't have baby feet. I can just imagine you calling. You're like, my feet are still not like that of a baby. Yep. Maybe you need to drink more collagen. Yeah, you should take collagen supplements. That's really good for your skin. Well, it's obviously dry, Barbara. Well, She's like, I don't have a problem with my skin, I'm with my just, only my dry feet. Can I use a what? Oh, gracias, qué amable. 
Oh, that was funny. I was like, I don't know what she said next. <laughs> Probably so bad. Gloria Palace and mascara. Ooh, these names. You should see what Nars' mascara is called. It starts with the C and it ends with the Max. Not the C word. It starts with the C and it ends with the Max. C L I Max. Oh. <laughs> God. Really? Yes. Okay, people are just trying to get your attention with these names. Lancome. What is it called? I don't know. Sounds really fancy. A little bit closer towards me. There we go. Make sure we go in all the way. There are some uh, mascaras that have like little fibers in them and they do make the eyelashes longer. Like they cling on. Well, I think that's You want the mascara to have that or you don't want to have that? Oh, okay. It'll probably be available closer to the end of summer. Because right now it's at the printers getting printed. So the logo is getting printed on the surface. Right now we're using the flame bit from the Russian manicure drill bit set to go in and really gently get everything clean. Today the category is Neon Fantasy Realness, but on short nails. So the, the daytime stripper neon fantasy. She wants it. She's like, I need to have it now. Yes. Because that's the, that's the working prototype. I don't know why it's so blurry today. Yeah, it's the same one we always use. But it's having a hard time focusing. I don't know why. On your nails. <laughs> Barbara doesn't like anything tangling in the bundles. She's very particular about that. She doesn't like any like big glitters. She does she likes everything smooth. Yeah. I think your phone is not focused. I'm turn her hand over this way. Yeah, it is. Maybe that will be better. Okay, Is that a little bit better, maybe? Let's see what the feedback is. It looks like it, yes. This feels so clean too, doesn't it? it does. So, Barbara, are you ready for Disneyland next week? Disneyland. I told you I don't have my mini outfit. You don't need that. Wow. I told Barbara, I was like, Barbara, just wear a bikini. Now that Ariel's gonna be black, you people will think that you're Ariel if you're in a bikini. <laughs> you guys can be laughing. <laughs> I can just imagine Barbara with like this red wig on. And like these little girls going up to you, are you Ariel? And Barbara's like, I will if you got five dollars. Let's take a picture. Oh, somebody said it's actually trying to focus on the lamp. Oh, maybe let me get the lamp out of the way. Let me push it more towards. Maybe that'll be better. Yes, maybe, maybe. I told Barbara, I was like, we'll stand outside of Disneyland. We'll stand right there at um, downtown Disney. And then people will think she's Ariel and we'll charge people like, I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks to take a picture, 50 bucks. 
at six feet apart we'll have like a little <laughs> we'll have like a space marker around there we're like okay children six feet apart i leave on thursday this thursday yeah coming up not this week but next week next week yes ma'am so excited i haven't been to disneyland since january well so disney world it's just vacation. yes it is and i'm also going to take my dad to go see his children his, uh, his Yeah. Especially because his speech is getting worse. Uh-huh. So I don't know if it's going to get better or not. So I was like, well, they should see him while they can try to understand every other word. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like they're, it doesn't seem like they're going to come down here anytime soon. So. Yeah. Take him oh, that's so sweet. You're wonderful. Oh, I try. So we're going to use diamond prep. It's very frustrating. I feel bad for my mom. I was like, we should play charades because we probably win because we're so good at guessing things now. <laughs> Diamond prep at a super low speed. And we're going to just really gently go in and clean so everything up. Lowest speed possible on the machine. One, basically. Super, super low. And Disneyland is going to be so packed that day because they're opening up a new land. So are you going to Disney World or Disneyland? No, Disneyland. Oh, so you're going to California. Correct. I would not. I'm not crazy. I'm not going to. That's a death wish going to Florida in summer. Yeah, that's true. Just get off the plane and pass out from heat exhaustion. 100% precipitation. No, thank you. But they are easing up on restrictions, so I actually do want to go back to Florida and, and take better pictures. Mm -hmm. Because when I went, in all honesty, I was like trying to take my mask off in between trying to take pictures. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to go to Disney World and take pictures with the mask on. Yeah. They're like, smile. How can you smile with the mask on? No one's going to see it. Right. Talking about being incognito, right? Oh. No, I still get recognized when, uh, when, uh, when I have to go places that I have really? to wear a mask. Yeah, some people do. Is it that obvious? <laughs> they just know you. Is it that easy to spot Max? Spot yeah, the Max. Little tall blonde. Come on. Little tall blonde. Man. And they got long hair too. Yeah, exactly. Strat piercing blue eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Rory, you look so clean now. Like your cuticles. Like, literally. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that incredible? It is. I love it. You know me. All the stuff you need. Get it. Get it gone. Oh my gosh, you remember the song, Barb? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I haven't heard this in forever. I haven't heard it in so long. Gee, it's been forever. She's homeless. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh, you know who I started following? Who? I think she's a great conservative because you know me, I love me and my black conservatives. Yeah. Is um, Dr. Martin Luther King's niece. I can't remember what her name is right now. Oh, really? Yes, but she's really good though. Yeah. I don't know her name. I can't remember, but she was very, very good. I was watching her on the news. Oh. Can somebody look up Dr. Martin Luther King's niece? She is incredible. She's up there with Larry Elders. So we're going to very, very gently trim. Yep. This is the finishing part, guys. I'm using my pink scissors. And don't trim too, too much because when we tend to file and we blend in the cuticle, we tend to go in a little heavy handed. So we want to be gentle so that way we don't break any skin. I was like, it's going too fast. Like 
at that. So beautiful, it just comes out. So beautifully. Mm -hmm. Scissors and I, I personally like using a scissor more. Mm -hmm. The secret is you want to lift up as much as possible so that way it just comes off like this. It basically does the work for you. Beautiful, look at that. back in really quickly and it's come off in one piece mm -hmm. i like to use the ball bit to take off the cuticle yes that also works really beautifully mm -hmm. it's just everybody's different so it's really important to have all the bits to make sure that you have what you need given the circumstance wendy's there so satisfying that's right especially when it comes off in one piece mm -hmm. I'm just going back super gently, literally zero RPM, like one, just to make sure everything is nice and clean, everything is nice and etched, so that way we can begin our overlay. I think I saw a message, someone was saying something about like uh, warmer skin tone. Mm -hmm. If you do have warmer skin tone and you don't like the color of like pink press on gel, check out cream puff it's more beigey it's definitely very very deep mm -hmm. also a pink has in eight eight or nine incredible colors and i i like pink on on all skin tones i think it looks better because a lot of people think that oh you know if the skin is deeper we should do a beige nail bed mm -hmm. but i think it doesn't make the nail look bright i think like it's so yellow it just it's not flattering do you know what i mean yeah. you want that bright Robin wants to know what you Pink press on gel. So there are definitely some more beigey color gels in the A pink gel that you can um, just use them as polish if you want to on top of the one two three go as gel polish and you'll get a beautiful result. Or you can put it on the nail too and then apply them with like a clear press on gel and that way you'll have that color on the nail bed too. Beautiful. But. I always say pink press on gel just looks beautiful on every skin tone. Like Barbara and I are pretty much wearing the same color of gel and look how beautiful it looks on both of our skins. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a nice little coat of nail prep and this is gonna dehydrate and balance out the pH. You don't put it on the whole thing, you just put it on No, everything. Oh. So this dehydrates the nail, removes any moisture and it bounces the pH, and then the primer we only really need it on the nail. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna put the primer right here at the point of contact. Yeah. Take these ears off, guys. Ooh, it is hot in here. <laughs> no, you know what makes it hot is this apron. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't breathe. It does not. That's why the, it cleans so easily because it's not, um, what do you call it? Cotton. Yes, it's, it's plastic. plastic. So, and this is our first it layer of. have a sheen to it, like a, uh, a sheen kind of something, uh, giving you more of a cloth sheen to the apron? No, it's all plastic. It's all plastic. So this material does not breathe, it does not wrinkle, it does not get dirty, so it's very stain resistant. Mm. So we're going to do our first coat of pink press on gel. We're gonna make sure that gel is nice and even over the entire nail. Look how healthy it looks already too. Mm. So pretty. And that's why I love wearing this color by itself too. Oh, 
Okay, let's bake this 30 seconds. Okay. What are the girls saying, Barbara? Well, I'm not hearing too much of anything. They're kind of quiet. Everybody's just watching. Really? Does anybody have plans for the weekend? Do you have any plans for the weekend, Barbara? Do. Ooh, Let's see. do tell. I'm doing a uh, slide class on Saturday morning. Mm. Having a members only welcome back, you know, meet and greet kind of thing. It's been so long, over a year. Wow. And, um, oh, only 30 seconds. You can take it out now. Um, at um, the Donna Liggins Center. Come closer towards me. There we go. And, uh, are you guys going to have a performance? No, we're just going to do slides that we know. Uh, no teaching any new slides, although I would love it if you did. But anyway. Keep it fresh, keep it updated, you know yeah. what I mean? And then on Sunday, I am, my niece invited me over for dinner. I'm so excited. Ooh, what is she making? It's a surprise. Yeah. Can I go? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's the one that told me to come to you. She moved back? Yeah. Wow. She bought a house. Really? Mm -hmm. She got lucky. Yeah. Because they say the houses are flying off the market here. Flying off the market. This one didn't even get on the market. Really? It was off market deal. It was off market deal. That's how she got it. That's probably the only way you can get a decent house now. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she just walked out. Where did she live before? Where did she live from? She was in Phoenix. Oh, she was in Phoenix? And then, and she used to live in Philadelphia. Yes, I remember she, she moved to Philly. Jersey. When yeah. I started doing your nails, she moved to yeah, Philly. Exactly. She's been all over the place. She's been all over. Did she get herself a man yet? She is a brick. She is. House. I remember you told me. I've never seen her. You gotta show me a picture. Oh, I gotta try to find one. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, she is gorgeous. Okay, let's bake this. 30 seconds. Wow. Miss America. Barbara, do you remember? Um, I was watching the Miss Universe pageant. Oh. Do you remember Chelsea Smith? I think she was Miss Universe 1995 or something like that. Really? Yeah, she was really pretty. She oh, died. Oh no. Her career never took off after the pageant. But why did she die? What did she die? Really? She became an alky. And then she got really depressed. I think she suffered from depression. Let's take a quick little look. Yes, we're gonna do one more layer on top. But look how beautiful and healthy her nails look. Isn't that lovely? So you just doing my nails. Yeah, we're building out your nail with a press-on gel. It's called a plumping gel manicure. Because they wear them so short, there's no, there's no point in putting a nail on. <laughs> God no, God forbid. <laughs> you guys, you hear him, he said no, God no. Oh, I'll plug it in right now. Oh, and then I forgot to tell you guys too, we have a promo code because since yeah. it's Labor Day, we can remember, I've recorded a little video for it too. All the Precious Mineral colors are 20% off every single Precious Mineral color from now until Memorial Day at midnight using promo code GM20, oh no, PM20. PM20, Precious Mineral 20. And it'll take 20% off. 
every single precious mineral color whether the color is on sale whether the color is not on sale whether it's a cat eye color any color is 20 so percent off 20 percent off the whole order or just the just the colors just the color. so stock up on them precious minerals so beautiful so healthy looking too yeah. so this is like a fusion technique so this this technique i developed it it's half russian half south korean really? yes but in south korea they really build up the nail a little bit too much for my liking like excessively build it out well how, do, how long does this last um a long time because all what you do is i don't know if you noticed that we drill off all the old gel first right. and then we put a fresh layer on top so it lasts weeks, and then when you come in, we do a fresh coat. Mm. No, this is the OG version. Mm. What we sing this one, brother? As the beat goes on, just like my love everlasting. I think it was the Drifters. No. So we're gonna bake this now for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. We're gonna make sure she's baked all the way through. The whispers. Whisper. Yeah. Thank you. The whispers. Let's brush wipe, hand sanitizer. We gotta make sure that the nail is baked all the way through for at least one minute to ensure full drying of the gel. You want that gel very, very firm, so that way it doesn't bend when Barbara's twerking upside down. <laughs> so again, remember you guys, that promo code is PM20 to save 20% off all your precious mineral color orders, okay, you guys? And there is free shipping on every order over 150 here in the U.S. And every order over $100 comes with a free bottle of gel polish. That's a really good deal. Yes. No, it's random. I'm gonna do it 30 seconds again, just in case, because we want to make sure that thumb is dry all the way through, right, Barb? Yes. My mortgage is due. Matches the lamp on sale. Uh, she is not. She is not on sale. But if your order is over 100, uh, you will get you a little uh, free bottle of gel polish. So get you a lamp, get you some precious minerals, and then you'll be all set, my love. Ready for the snatching. Okay. It's okay, we still gotta shape it. I just wanna make sure it's dry all the way. Beautiful. She is dry. She is baked. So we're gonna take our hand sanitizer. It looks like a little snake, doesn't it? I know, it's so good. And we're gonna remove the oxygen inhibition layer. And then we can shape it. Oxygen inhibition layer. So when gel dries, uh, when are your wipes restocking? My what? Wipes. Re Which ones? I don't know. The Lux brush wipes? They're in stock right now. Are, do you live outside of America? Maybe your distributor doesn't have any. We're going to take... And okay. the metal file base uh, The metal file, we're actually redesigning it, so it'll be a little while. I think it's sold out right now. That's the Thanks, Antonia. Ride or die. I changed the beat, the speed, so that way they won't uh, take my videos down. Because oh. if I play them at the normal speed, they'll get flagged. Oh. Little little, look like a little snake tongue. It did. It really did. Oh, have you gone to the movies yet, Barbara? I have not. No. No, I've been afraid. Really? Yeah, because there's so many 
many COVID videos out there, you know? I want to go see the new Saw movie. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You like those kind of movies? I do. I like scary movies. Oh. They and scare me. Really? How can you the know, Saw movie younger, scare you? When I was younger, I loved it. I just loved it. Um, now that I'm older, I mean, I get squeamish watching the medical shows when they, and they're showing the insides, and, you know, the people and all the organs and stuff, and I'm like... <laughs> Makes you weak in the knees. <laughs> I do have a TikTok. It's the same handle as my um, yeah, Instagram. Says you have a, you have a I do, but I don't like do little funny dances on TikTok or anything like that. It's all you know, related. I'm going to watch a quiet place too. Ooh, is that good? I saw the first one on a plane and I really liked it. Oh, Wendy says she's gonna watch. The only thing I didn't like about it was the aliens. I thought they were so funny. Because the movie was so good until you saw the aliens. And the aliens were just... They did it for me. Oh, really? Yeah, the aliens were not what Believable? I was expecting. No, not at all. Hmm. I'm fully vaccinated, so going to go to the movies. Okay, Wendy. Enjoy. I'm fully vaccinated, too. So... I thought it would have been better if they wouldn't have not shown what they look like. Just oh, leave the, just the mystery and the tension. The yes. Because then you saw him and you're like, that's what she's running away from. It looks like a giant grasshopper. <laughs> well, to some people, that would be uh, scary. Any, you know, because you've got those people who have insect phobias. And they're real. Karen says, visit her in Manhattan. Well, we're gonna go see you, Mama, when we go in October. That'll be fun. Ooh, that'll be so much fun. Barbara is ready. I am ready. You know, you just, all you got to do is stay in New York. It's been a while since you've been to New York, right, Barbara? It has been. Actually, wow, you're right, man. I can't remember the last time you've been. So we're gonna use the golden wombat to shape up the nail. It's so much better in theaters than the loudspeakers add a lot of sense. Mm. I haven't been to a theater since they found bad bed bugs there years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would keep me out. Ooh, can you imagine? But the theater movie going experiences, like, it really does make the, the enjoying the film a lot more immersive. Yeah, it does, it does. Hey, it's my girl. Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. She's from Chicago. Yeah. Is she nice in person? Very. Nice. Really? Very, very, very nice. Do you like her more as a solo artist or do you like her more with Rufus? I like her as a solo artist. I'm going to know that. got to know that or not. I do not trust people. I hear you, Antonio. Max, do you sell the gold bit you're using? I sell everything I'm using. Everything is from enocouture.com. We never use anything else. She loves me better. So the shaping is pretty much the same as you would shape any other kind of nail, whether it be hard gel, whether it be uh, acrylic, hybrid gel. It's the same uh, technique. Correct. I would never use anything else or promote anything else that's not enochatour.com. It's not made by me. Only the best. Cool. Because you guys partied together, didn't you? Yep. I'm going to turn the head upside down. We're going to drill out the inside.
I love this bit because it's so versatile, literally. You know me, Barbara. Mm -hmm. You know I love everything HD Photoshop finish. The first one was the golden wand bit, but I'm gonna go in with two because I wanna make sure I get everything super clean because if you do if, if one bit is too big you won't be able to go in and really get those little tight little crevices you know what I mean so it's better to you know trade follow your steps cross your eyes and dot your T's or oh, no it's the other way around right dot your eyes and cross your T's <laughs> I love it Do you remember Sylvester? I love Sylvester. Because I was listening to a song, Do You Want a Funk? And it reminds me of you. Uh -huh. Do you want a funk? Won't you tell me now? Oh, yeah. What an underrated diva, wasn't he? Because, I mean, he would perform like with chickens and I know. flying around and everything. I think he was really wild. Such a um, ingenue of the stage. A terrible thunderstorm. Wow! A thunderstorm where? In New York City now. Oh, oh. Irene says, love this song. Andy says, I love that trip. Look how clean it is, you guys. Like, so yeah, snatched. The You're gonna love it. Perfect for the that HD cuticle that we want. And it really does make the manicure last so much longer. Yeah. Because Barbara, I mean, how long did you go, Barbara? Five weeks? Four weeks? At least. Mm -hmm. Almost five weeks because the product was literally right to the skin. Yeah. Turn the head over this way very gently. So you've been to almost every state, Barbara? Yeah, except for North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana. Oh my gosh. All the other states. Really? Yeah. Including Alaska and Hawaii. I've been to every state at least. So, which is your favorite state? Really? Now or then? Really? With all the bureaucracy? Have you seen what it looks like now? Oh, they said it's so bad downtown with the homeless. It's bad. But you know what? I, when I was in San Diego, a lot of the homeless. Um, San Francisco. If you want to know where it really got me, really touched my heart. Where? You know why? Why? Really? In 
Sacramento. That's terrible. Yeah. I just wanted to get home and give them all a place to stay, you know. If I was a millionaire, that's what I would do. And it's a tax deductible. <laughs> well, I don't care. <laughs> You're such a businessman. It's a good tax deduction. Well, it is. That's why a lot of big com a lot of big companies or a lot of really really rich people, mm -hmm. they have those uh, foundations or mm -hmm. nonprofit because oh, yeah. they smuggle their money through that. Wow, but they need to they need to help. They need to get that. Most of them I know are very really serious about getting that. The NAACP. <laughs> I think that's a really good organization though too. It is. The National Advancement for People of Color. Association for the there you go. Thank you for correcting me. I actually donate money to the NAACP. Please? Yes. You donate to the local one here in uh, I mail it in. I send the check through the mail. Who? To the NAACP. Where? I'm not sure. Maybe their headquarters. Start giving it to the local one. Oh, so that way you make sure they get it. Really? Perfect for the seamless look, right, Wendy? Get that HC finish. Yeah, the storm is on its way to my state. Mm. Oh, wow. Where are you? Uh, Mariah Smith, what state are you in? Well, be careful, Mama. Mm -hmm. Just taking up that little, little bit inside. And that part of the country is really famous for its lobster, right? So take that bit to the skin, get her nice and smooth. What about the south? The south? What about Kentucky? What's Kentucky famous for? Blue grass. <laughs> food? <laughs> What's the, what kind of food is that? No, grass. Blue oh, grass. like the music? No. Well, they have that kind of music, but blue grass. Blue grass. Like the grass is really blue? Exhausting traveling. Karen says she loves Rhode Island. Karen says it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is 
Too much work for me though. I'm not a big crawfish person. Oh. It's too much work. For a little bit of meat. I don't know. I was at a crawfish festival in New Orleans. Oh gosh, what's that from? Oh my god, New Orleans is I mean that's a food capital of the world. <laughs> Like me right now. It was so much fun. And the people are so sweet, aren't they? Oh god, that lobster bowl is where it's at. Yeah, Wendy. I've been to a lot of lobster bowls. Oh, Karen says it's bad out right now. Well, be careful. Yeah. Stay safe. We're finding the edge right now, make sure everything is nice and even. <laughs> what? Eating the crawfish. So much work! You're like five hours later, you have like four left. It's a Cajun food capital of Louisiana. Yes, it is. I think it's the Cajun food capital of the United States. Of the world. Oh, somebody's here from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Hi. How do you feel now, Barbara? Like new? Yeah. Gotta keep you on your toes. Yeah. Gotta innovate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny, the video of, uh, what was the guy from Cameo? And you're like, oh, yeah. he's not old, he's just on something. <laughs> he just did like he was so up. Better now? This is very good. It makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, that's why I think everybody wants it, because they've noticed it makes a huge difference. Because it makes the hand so much closer to you, especially because I'm tall. And you're tall too, so we're not dangling in the air. Then we're ready to buck now. Yeah. Make sure they're nice and even. This way. Beautiful. So when someone asks you, Barbara, are those your real nails? You say, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Ooh, some Patty LaBelle. I love Patty LaBelle. I know you don't like her. This one's on my own. And this one's by herself, I think. Mm -hmm. Isn't she who the one um, that discovered Luther Vandross? Because I thought he made dresses for her. That's how he started. Oh, for her or for who? I thought he made dresses for Patty Lebel. Really? Bye bye. So I'm taking the smoothie buffer just to make sure everything is nice and even and seamless. Oh, it didn't say right there, it just said Patty LaBelle.
first time they performed this in the public was the first time they sung it. Really? In person? They recorded it. Separate? Isn't that crazy how technology works? And that was back in the early 80s. I know in Italy, they, when they made them movies there, they would shoot the movie without sound, and then they would add the sound later. Mm -hmm. So that way they would have actors from like different parts of the world. You could shoot the movie in your language, and then later they would go back and dub it after. So it would look more natural than having everybody like try to learn Italian or something. So let's say, like for example, the leading man was from Spain and the lead actress was American, but they were shooting it in Italy. He would shoot in Spanish and she would shoot in English, and but they would shoot the movie without sound. But then... And then they'd go back and dub it in post. Yeah, but then when they're talking and their mouths don't go with the words. <laughs> I used to love that. Those old movies? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of base coat on the name. Base coat. Was that a, a coat of base coat on the new. Uh, Karen wants to know if the buffer is sold out or available. Yeah, both of them are. Are you outside of America? Then you would have to check with uh, your distributor if you're like in Canada, Australia, or New Zealand. So I'm gonna do a little coat of base coat just to give the nail a really perfect uh, surface for the application of the color. Oh, okay. So it's been up, it's been fixed. So pretty just like that, doesn't it? So healthy. Wow. My nails. <laughs> Your nails look better. Pretty easy too. That's a great way to offer like a your nails look better kind of service. Ooh, some Evan and Champagne King. Yeah. Gel polish, this is 166, which is this really pretty bright orange. We're going to use 54. We're going to use 161, which is the neon green. I'm doing a quick little shake. Uh, from Supergirl from Fun Gel 127, which is a bright pink. And then the blue is gel polish 164. You can take it out now, my dear. Now we begin the painting of the phalanges. Oh, I. Oh. 
But we have a uh, blue in gel polish, and we have blue in precious minerals as well too. I'm sorry, not precious and fun gel. Look at that color! Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful, Barbara? Yeah. That is a true one coat color. Let's do the blue on the middle finger. This color is stunning, you guys. Mm -hmm. So let's do orange on this one. Mm -hmm. Look at that orange bar. Oh, you know I'm loving that orange. You know that's my favorite color, orange. Is it really? Yeah. If you're not from the U.S. and it's orange, auto stop, contact your distributor. If you are in the U.S., it could be a... Hmm. So then we're gonna do the green on the pinky. Yeah. Those are so fun. You look like a gelato. For my brother's memorial, my older brother and I choreographed a slide to forget me not. Really? Mm -hmm. Did he record it? Yeah. I want to see. Post it on YouTube, Barbara, so that way the world can see. <laughs> who sang this song, Patrice? Patrice Russian. Huh? That's who you should do your hair like. But you don't like beats, huh? Gel polish 54. Can you hold still for me, Barbara? I know it's hard. And you're jamming. <laughs> no, it's because you're moving. I know. Oh man, the author of one of my favorite children's books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, I love Clark. <gasps> No, he did not. Eric Carl just passed, Antonio? Like right now? Oh my god! I had every Eric Carl book that he ever wrote. And some of them I had several copies of. And then you could buy them um, with somebody reading them, you know, if I had the tape. So when, you know, 
know, I taught first grade and kindergarten before the kids learned how to read. Mm-hmm. They could sit with the book and sit the tape and, and listen to it, read along. Yeah. And it's amazing how they learn how to read. Sunday. Oh, he died Sunday. Yeah, they just announced it. Oh my gosh! I love the very hungry caterpillar. Beautiful. So now we're going to bake this for 60 seconds. In the video, they would have, they had the, uh, oh gosh, I forget what insect that was, but he would say, okay. mm. <laughs> What was the book about? It was a very hungry caterpillar. And what did he eat? Everything. Really? He, on Monday, he ate through, uh, I forget, I should know this by heart, as many times as I read the dog on books. But he would eat through different fruits and things, and, and pizza, and all that stuff. Pizza? So he, he, the caterpillar ate through all kinds of Oh, so it's like an elementary kind of book. It's a, yeah. Yeah, you could learn like, I thought it was like a novel or something. No, the Adventures it's of the a, Hungry Caterpillar. It's, it's a picture book. Oh, okay. But, but you know, words and everything. But he also had um, video. Mm. Of, of, you know, animated. Check it out, my dear. Mm-hmm. Those colors. So, we're going to use the Space Galaxy Kitty number 17. It's, a, it's about growing up to be anything you want, no matter how much you go through to get there. Basically, that's it. But, of course, the caterpillar turns into the very last page. You open it up, and there's this gorgeous butterfly. Was it like a, uh, like a pop-up book or something like that? Um, Semi-pop-up-y. So we're going to take our little magnet. We're going to activate those pigments. The caterpillar eats and eats and doesn't understand why he's not changing until he does. It's a sweet, beautiful book. Yeah, it is. Look how cool that looks, Barbara. Oh. Did you just decide on this? No. I had it planned out already. Move your finger around and you can see it. Up and down and all around. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm just silly. She's really jamming to the music today, Barbara. Yep. She's going to have to go out They're tonight. A chocolate version, but mostly paperback, yeah. And Barbara's going to have to go to Bojangles tonight. I don't know where I'm going to go. Her Supper Club. Yeah, I'm going to go to her. I don't know if they have anything tonight. This is Space Galaxy Kitty number 17. Oh, I like Space Galaxy. And this is probably one of the most popular numbers, number 17, which is like, really? like a white cat eye. I went over it with the mag- with the magnet again. There it is. To give it the fantasy. Yeah. Looks like these nails are dancing in the light, huh? Mm-hmm. And then we can add some glitter on top if you want. But not too, too much. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby.
Yes. What a un, um, un, not undistinguishable, unrecognizable or recognizable voice she had. Yeah, very much. But I was just thinking when I was listening to the question, and then before that was uh, Evelyn Champagne King, mm -hmm. how all of them were so distinct. Yes. You, know, you, you never got them confused. And even though it was kind of like the same era of, of, oh, of music, very different. Everybody had their own style. Yeah. I don't think there was really any rivalries that I can think. Well, no, I take that back. Yeah. Because Aretha had a beef with everybody. You think she did? Probably. Why do you say that? Because she ate them. She ate them? She ate the competition. <laughs> You're so funny. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, a little glitter. Just a little here, a little Good. there. Oh, yeah. Then she'll be ready. With uh, Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. where she plays a uh, lesbian, right? Scotch Gibson fan. Oh, Debbie Gibson. I love me some Debbie Versus Gibson. Tiffany, yeah, 80. Yeah. Sharon Maples, Volta. So I'm going to okay, apply the glitter. I yes. So to apply the glitter, we could use press-on gel or we could use base gel. Let's use the bottom chick, AKA press-on gel. Just a nice little thin coat, nothing too crazy. There's a lot of coats on this. They ain't gonna go anywhere. Max, what does the round side of the magnet it kind of gives it like a Swiss cheese kind of effect, so it kind of opens it up a little bit. So instead of the line being so straight, I want it a little bit more dispersed just to give it more of a fantasy. some glitter to the top of the nail. Glitter Barber. It's a bottom chick right there. Mm -hmm. And embedding the glitter with press on gel really like secures it. Like let you didn't lose any, right, Barbara? No, oh no, no, no. I, I lost none. Absolutely not. And I'm using the vegan four pack of brushes to apply the glitters too. Okay. And so what brush, what number, what number? Is this is the one? pink one from the four pack. to super bright day glow. To match. Match, match, match. Give them the fan.
you know that there was a um, total eclipse of the moon? Oh, they were going to say total eclipse of the heart. <laughs> I was like, I like that song. I know. So, it, it'll be... Um, New moon today? Yeah. It'll be um, to, to, to this evening. Was it I don't a, know, the moon might be just fuller. Was it like a blood eclipse or anything like that or just no, normal? No, it was hard to see. So. You can see it after the eclipse is over. You can see it after the beginning, but by, at 2 o'clock in the morning, you can see, but at 5 o'clock, the moon was so low, you could just see a little bit. Really? Yeah. It was we usually can see them pretty good here because our scars are so clear. Yeah, you could see it, but it was low. Oh, okay. It was very okay, okay. low. It was steady. So early, it seemed like. I don't know. It, it was just the path that it took when it rose. Like, if you had stepped out yesterday, mm -hmm. the moon was phenomenal. Really? Oh, it's so beautiful. It was so big. It was huge. It looked like you could, you wanted to just grab it, you know? Like it was made out of cheese. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. I haven't heard this song in a long time. Uh, Antonio, you can see it tonight as well. It actually depends on where you are. They were bragging online about, whoa, 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 and I was like, not in Southern Arizona, though. You could still <laughs> see it from here. I mean, you could see it, but it wasn't. Oh, this is my old one. This was coming off. Oh, so it's going to start looking down. Yes, it's going to start looking down. I like the colors. I know, aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to bake this for 30 seconds. today but Gloria broke it <laughs> she broke oh she my god broke it. hey this is my jam yeah Jamie I hear you she's ready for the weekend <laughs> especially wasn't there a lady that was watching from Trinidad what earlier today in the video wasn't there somebody oh, from Trinidad yes. Yes. I wonder if she's watching Cause she's a Caribbean queen. Mm -hmm. Antonio said, don't pick up my girl. She likes them? Yeah. They're very they're simple, beautiful. but they're nice and cute. They really are. Okay, so you're going to turn your hand upside down for me, Barbara? I am. Mm-hmm, just a few seconds. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the gel self-level out. So that way it's nice and even. 
Okay, you can flip it over now. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bake it for one minute now. There we go. Inside the oven. It's a very it's nice. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy. But it's still so bright. And fun. I think that's the most important part. Is the design is very, very fun. And we gotta make sure it's dry all the way too. So <coughs> one minute. Not too bad. Spicy. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm, so good, watermelon candy. Me and my bad habits. <laughs> I'm gonna get out now. <laughs> I was getting ready to. Well, it comes second nature, doesn't it? Took the 240. And so what are you doing? I took the 240 grip file. Mm. I'm just making sure everything is nice and even. There's no lumps or bumps. My what? Oh, tomorrow! And then we finish with a little bit of cuticle oil, and that's a wrap. So let's apply a little bit of oil. We won't do any on the thumb because we have to bake it a little bit extra, but. So that we wouldn't have to have everybody wait for a minute. And then it but goes sweet. Started, it sweet. Yeah. I wish it would stay spicy the whole time. Mm -hmm. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple plumping gel manicure. Something really fun, really easy, but super beautiful. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks, Miss Mosley, for coming out. Alrighty. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.